Hello geeks, welcome to Ten Forums. In this video we will import two Hyper-V virtual machines, one using Hyper-V Manager and another using PowerShell. Let's start. Open Hyper-V Manager. Select Import Virtual Machine. Browse to and select the folder containing your exported VM. You have three options. Register VM in place is fast. It leaves all VM's files and folders in place, only registering the VM on Hyper-V Manager, keeping the VM's existing global unique identifier. Restoring VM will copy all its files and folders from export location to your default Hyper-V storage location or to any location you choose. This keeps the VM's existing global unique identifier too. Copying the virtual machine is the same as restoring it except that a new global unique identifier will be created. Do not use this option if you want an activated VM to keep its activation status. As I want to copy the VM files and folders to my default Hyper-V folders and keep its activation, I select the Restore option. The virtual machine has been imported and is now visible on your Hyper-V Manager. To check everything is ok, I run the virtual machine once. Let's import another VM using PowerShell. Open an elevated admin PowerShell. I prefer the ISC version, but this works with normal version too. Commands in both versions are identical, only the interface is different. To import a VM, use command let import hyphen VM, followed by full path to VM's configuration file, the one with .vmcx extension. The .vmcx configuration file is always located in Virtual Machines folder.
If you want to use the register in place option as in Hyper-V Manager, you will need no additional switches. To restore the VM, use switch hyphen copy. To copy the VM with new global unique identifier, use switches copy and generate new ID. The VM I am restoring now was not activated. I can use this option. That's it. The virtual machine has been restored and added to your Hyper-V manager. As the Windows Insider build upgrade was already downloaded before I exported the VM, I can now start the upgrade process leaving it to work in the background. That's it geeks, see you on 10forums.com.